is Lady T Z C D coming back at you with a quick video. Lady T Z C D. So the, today we're gonna have some fun, y'all. I love wigs, and some you know professional people call them units, but I am a wig. I, that's my name for myself. I love to wear wigs, and I normally wear them comfortably in the winter time. This is the season. This is what I call wig seasons season <laughs> for me. And I thought I'd jump in, and because I get so many compliments uh, throughout my channel, I've done wig reviews in the past, and I um, wear wigs, I wear different styles, just to free me up with um, doing my hair. I'm a natural uh, uh, hair girl, I'm a natural beauty, and I've been natural for a while. So normally I just put rinse in my hair, you know, showing a little beautiful wisdom now, you know, some grays, and I like to, you know, keep it rinsed or whatever, but eventually I'm just going to let it all go and be salt and pepper, okay? But right now, let's have some fun. I want to just jump in and maybe encourage someone during this time, this pandemic, we can't really go anywhere. Um, we can't really, you know, we can get out once in a while and go to the store or whatever. But I just want to encourage someone to not to worry about doing their hair or what have you. We are now in a, a situation where we really, you know, again, can't really go out and do things like we used to. But Valentine's Day is coming up. And some people haven't been to a salon in a while. Why not try a unit? Why not try a unit? Anyway, in this particular video, I'm going to show you how I pick out for me. Not telling anybody else what to do. I just want to encourage someone to try to, to, to do it. Um, but for me, I'm showing a couple of wigs, maybe three, on how I select wigs for myself. And I'm very, very comfortable with wearing them. Now, for me, I normally uh, set out to buy wigs that are complementary to my face structure. I worn the styles. Uh, back in the day when I had a perm or my hair was straightened, I know how that particular style looked on me. I've gotten compliments on the style back in the day when I was, you know, uh, had the length or I wore the style. So I try to, you know, for basic purposes only, you know, just going out to the store and wearing here and there, whatever. Not really going out like we used to, somewhere special. Now we go somewhere special, the girl get your hat out, her hair down the hill. Okay, I try. I try to do it up for Mr. Howard, all right? But um, these are, these are you know, most people say these are basic weeds. Why not try with something basic, you know, from, from the beginning? Let's get into the trying on the weeds, okay? So let me try this first one. First of all, you may want to go ahead on one. And let me tell y'all what you normally start out with. As you can see, I have on a weed cap. And I normally um, put my weed cap on, make sure my hair is braided down. And uh, I normally slip my, my sides down, you know. As I said, these edges are hard to slip down right now because I got gray coming in. And normally I just put a little um, gel on it to um, slip them down. And I would put a black, they have a black um, gel out there um, that you can, I showed it in another video. I don't have everything, all that stuff laid out. But eco style gel would be just fine. Or any type of gel you can use to slip your edges down. Uh, edge control or what have you. But I mine has a little black tint in it to to um dye my, you know to, to make it look natural to you know blend in with my weeds. That's what I'm trying to say. So I get all that done first and try to make sure that's ready. Then I'll put a little makeup on for the purpose of this a video because I ain't gonna run over. But the purpose of this video I put a little you know a little face on not much just to let y'all see you know how pretty it looks with your weeds. I also have, you may want to purchase a couple of these. I have a couple of these and I just pulled out one. And uh, I have a couple of these in my closet for my nice wigs. I put them on and then I just store the ones. I, just <laughs> I got a little tub that I store the rest of them in. So, yeah. But you can get these at the beauty supply store. And they don't cost that much. I forgot how much they are, but they, they're not, not a lot of money. Get you a couple of wigs to hold your nice wigs on Okay, let's get started with the try on. All right. Okay. Now this particular wig, put her here. I know I'm in my bathroom as y'all can tell. Um, this particular wig is uh Q Power, and she's a bob, quick wig. All my wigs are pretty much quick wigs. 
because like I said, I need something quick to try on. I don't have a lot of lace fronts. I do have some lace fronts, but um, she's beautiful. She's a bob. Again, I used to wear a bob back in the day, so I know this is going to fit my face. And so, and sometimes you don't have to go with, you know, something that's going to fit your, fit your face. You want to try something new, that's okay too. But I know in the beauty supply stores, they will allow you to try on three wigs at a time. Now you can also go online and, and, and buy your, your wigs as well. So it's no rule, it, it's no rules or regulation of how to do these things, how to, how to support these, these units, okay? <laughs> these wigs. Just having fun with it. Just have fun. And so this is a quick wig. I'm going to try on first. Let's do that. Now, I'm going to have to adjust them and all that good stuff. So the wigs come with, you know, combs and, and I will put bobby pins in mine, just the back or what have you. And I'm going to show y'all how I put them. Put my hands on and start like this and bend down and put them around like that. And so this is like I said, you can, of course, you want to pull the sides right here on the sides. There's two handles on the side where you want to pull down over your ears. And of course, you're going to have your bobby pins ready because, you know, you got to have bobby pins. And I was, the way it's made, you it's a swoop bang. Actually, I had on this yesterday. Y'all check out my video. Y'all can see. I had this on yesterday. Bob. Cute little Bob. Swoop bang. And um, very easy, you know, to wear. Make sure you pull it down in the back to cover the nave of your neck. You don't want to be out. I've seen some ladies out and some of their hair is sticking out from the back of their wigs. And that's not cute. Not cute at all. And so I just try my best to, you know, and see how easy that was. I didn't even have to comb this. But normally, you know, you will comb and style and then put your bobby pins in. Uh, this one is very cute. I love the bangs. And I had also put some bobby pins over here because it just kept falling in my face and my eye. And so I just want to be comfortable and casual with this one. So, see how they look? Quick. And you ready just to go. Okay? So, I love it. <laughs> so, let me slide this one back off. Of course, you know, with bobby pins and stuff like that, you can, you know, you want to make sure your wig is secure. I'm looking at this to make sure my, my uh, I'm looking in the mirror in my bathroom to make sure that the, the cap is secure as well. But since I didn't have any bobby pins on, that's why I was sliding back. But the bobby pins are a must. And some people use clamps as well to, to secure their wigs. I'm a bobby pin girl. Okay. Excuse me, simply, y'all. Uh, Next one, quick wig, quick weave. It's upside down, I'm sorry. Quick weave. She's gorgeous. Again, I wear my hair like this. I got a couple. Actually, she's a replacement of, of Tony. I have the long wig I had like this. Her name was Tony. That was the name of the wig. And uh, Willow, I think that's her name. You can name your wigs. Her. I, I ain't naming her Willow. She's uh, probably Sandra or something. Cassandra or something. You know, she ain't no, <laughs> I got mean, a cute name, you know. And so, um, yeah, she's cute, and she's in the color 2B. Very easy to put on, and she was very reasonable. So, I'm going to go ahead and put her on as well. You can also, on the, on the uh, card, you can, uh, you know, put a little heat on her. I don't never put heat on my eyes, because, I mean, I already replaced before I try to mess it up and put heat on it. Here I go. Look at that. Now, some people just put it on like that, like a hat, or I, I'm going to do I kind of like go to the side. And that's what you see me doing. So, look at her. Bam. Instantly cute. Instantly. What? You see that? And she is gorgeous. She's in the color of two. She's not a 1B. A 1B is too dark for me, too harsh for me. You know, a woman of my particular age, I can't wear a dark, dark, too dark of a uh, wig. So, yeah, this is one of my favorite wigs, style of wigs. I get so many compliments on this particular look. Um, I have some wigs that are tight curls, and this is kind of a loose curl. I don't really care for the tight curls. I had to learn what I really like. I like the loose curl because this particular wig looks too more natural, more of a natural 
of style. And also, this is synthetic. I don't have any problems. Some people will like all human hair wigs. That's fine if that's what you like. But, you know, synthetic is fine for me. They're a little bit less in price. And uh, for what I'm trying to, to do and, what, and how I'm trying to wear them, it's, it, you know, I don't have any reason to really invest every wig uh, as a human hair wig. But I do have some human hair wigs, okay? So either way, it's no rule or regulations. It's just... Um, as long as you're looking good and easy for you to spoke. All right. <laughs> I told you we're going to have some fun today. So, okay. Let me slide her off. All right. And she is gorgeous. She was gorgeous. Easy, easy, easy breezy. And as you can see, the reason why, you know, I do the, the little black on the side of my edges is because I want my edges to be, you know, the wind blow or something like that. You know, of course, I have a sec secure, but, you know, people be looking and checking you out all up in your face trying to figure what, what's happening, what's really, really going on. And I don't want no grays out here waving at people when I got a jet black wig on, okay? So I try to keep her, or, you know, a 1B wig on, if you will. And I try to keep my edges to blend in with the wig. That's what I'm saying earlier. Okay, the last one, y'all, check her out. A pixie, a pixie wig. These are popular, y'all. These are popular. And she's so cute. I can rock a short hair. I love, y'all know I love short hair. Love short hair. And so she is a, a natural, a natural color. I guess 1B, if you will. And uh, I love it. And it's easy for her to be just put on and styled different kind of ways, casual. And I think she's dressy right here. And so, yeah, professionally cut by a salon uh, stylist. I love it. So let me try her on. Don't be afraid to get a short wig. I've been wearing wigs long, a long time. So some people, they don't like short wigs. But in the summertime, if you want, you know, you don't feel like doing your hair, you want a different look, that's all I would put on. I would put on a short wig. So here we go. She has combs as well. Now you're gonna have to play with her now. Make sure your wig is on right. You want to take your sides where your ears are. They have the little thing right by your ears where you can pull it down. Okay, you gotta have it right. Or else you're gonna be looking crazy. And she will lay flat and I have to turn around, y'all. Excuse me for turning around. She would have to lay a little bit flatter. Let me make sure I got on right. I don't think I got on right. So hold on one moment. Here we go. That was the back. Okay. Here's the back with the cones. And that's how you do it. And then the sides over here. By her being short, these are the sides I'm talking about. Where your ear is. So you grab those two pieces. And let me make sure. Okay, I feel that comb me back. See, that's better. Make sure she pull back. I have to turn around look at this big mirror so I can see y'all. You see that side? Look at that. Beautiful. That back. Like I said, make sure the nave that is covering the back of your neck. You don't want your hair on your little kitchens <laughs> that you couldn't catch in your um in your braids, your cornrows. You know, you need to have your hair corn roll. I hope you, you know, you, you don't want that, because um, you want them to lay flat, especially something like that. This is short. You want them to lay flat. Now, I'm going to brush it like, you know, as you see in the picture, you can wear it like that around your ear. You see how I'm doing? Play with it. Like whatever you like. Something easy breezy to throw on. Okay, cute. I hope this gives you some type of idea or makes you more comfortable with trying to find out, you know, wigs or what have you. I love them. I do want to get me um a couple of uh, braided wigs because I ain't got no patience. I ain't about to go in nobody's salon and let them braid my hair with COVID. I mean, with this pandemic. <laughs> How the hell that mess on for... Too many hours, I can't do it, y'all. I'm just at age, but I can't do that. So, um, I'm going to go ahead on and get me a, um, try to find me. And they're expensive. I have priced them. I seen them online, and I 
seen them at the beauty supply store and they pricey. So I, if I'm if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna invest in a real nice one. So, but um yeah, this is how I will wear this, or I will scoop it over to the side. I'm a scoop, y'all know I'm a scoop side type person. I like the scoop bang. I ain't really into bangs, but if I have to wear them, I like to scoop them to the side. That's another look. You know, it's all kind of ways you can play with this. And I do want one in a finger wave. They got a finger wave. Uh, I don't know if y'all into no, how the finger wave, they short like this finger wave. They're cute. And that was way back in the day, but the finger waves are back. Everything back. So I want to get that as well. But I'm going to jump off. I hope this helps somebody out there to be comfortable in their own skin. Don't be afraid to step out the box and try something different. You know, and it really makes you feel better. It makes you, you know... It's just jazz you up some, you know what I mean? In this pandemic, you've got to find ways to stay encouraged and be motivated and just to continue to love yourself, you know? Because as you get older, divas out there a certain age, you know, it's hard for us to, you know, keep motivated and keep our looks up and, and you know, and try to make, make sure we stay still attractive to ourselves, okay? I'm going to jump off. This is Lady T ZCD coming back at you with a video with nothing about this video quick. <laughs> so those of you guys that made it to this point, thank you guys for watching. All um, my new subscribers, I truly appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel. All um, my old subscribers, y'all know I appreciate y'all. And please comment below. Tell me y'all what y'all think, y'all what type of videos y'all would like to see me do. Some additional type of videos like this or, you know, this. Tell me how I'm doing with the videos. And uh, any suggestions? I'll take them. I'm open to it. All right. Lady T, ZCD going to jump out. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.